Are you taking care of yourself? Socrates would usually greet people with this inquiry. This may be odd, but Socrates meant something that requires some study to comprehend in its entirety. On the surface, the question appears to be simple, but it isn't. If we are all free to behave as we like, we are all bound by the consequences of our free activities. Your ability to perform certain actions may impact me or others. It is very easy to be immoral if you do not consider the cost, the consequences, and the consequences of your free choice. The greatest way to be ethical is to look after oneself. Taking care of yourself, according to Socrates, entails gaining information and education, as well as bringing yourself to the strongest and deepest understanding possible, so that you are fully capable of assisting others. You can live an ethical life by assisting others. Essentially, ethical practice entails making a sincere attempt to reach the most enlightened state of mind and then acting in accordance with your values. The cornerstone of any ethical existence are principle and integrity. To live an ethical life, you must respect both your own and others' lives. To have an ethical life is about making the decision to be thoughtful in your freedom, to not harm others or yourself. It is not the same as how Parker was murdered for the other two men to survive. To live an ethical life is to live not to treat others as a competitor, but a, but a creation that must be respected. You must listen in order to comprehend, and comprehend in order to live a life in harmony with others. To be ethical, you must refuse to be dishonest and live by a moral code. Not out of obligation or necessity, but of a desire to ensure that you respect others on a regular basis. Whenever you are in a dilemma and you feel you are about to take a wrong decision, just close your eyes and imagine that if you tell this to the person you are closest to or to the person who respects you the most, what would their reactions be?